play? <laughs> As we get on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, hello, everyone. And I love it that we all came on screen. It didn't do that, like, delayed, like, boop, 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 boop. Bink. So I feel like it's it's going to be good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, for everybody. And uh, it seems that I forgot to put our names on the screen. I knew there was something I was missing. But oh, that's, that's all okay. right. That's yeah, all right. Amateur. She's Louise. Like, <laughs> I, I, it's like, honestly, I remembered everything until I saw us. And I'm like, oh, yeah, our names aren't on here. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one who really needs a name tag out of the trio. So, no, no. Everybody knows who you are. Jeremy, you're fine. Jeremiah <laughs> Blob, hello. Well, hello, hello. to you, too. <laughs> so, for those who don't know who we are, I'm Mandy. I'm Suzanne. And I'm David. Yay. So, welcome, we everybody. It. Yes, we did it. We'll be playing Twilight Inscription. So, I know people are familiar with Twilight Imperium, is not that. So just in case, hey. this is a roll and write. <laughs> hey, Which, Slivers. Thanks for yeah, joining. Hey, Slivers. Slivers. I mean, it, in some ways, it makes it great for this. Like, we would never play Twilight Imperium remotely with each other, right? Well, I would probably never play Twilight Imperium. Uh, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I I like that with a little bit of camera work, we can all hang out. I mean, we're all in three different locations, right? Remote and play, yeah. play a game together. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's Game Writers Guy. Welcome to the chat. Oh, look at that. We have a new follow. So MX Tiffany Lee. Why do I know this name? I know this Because it's Tiffany. Tiffany? Because it's Tiffany I, Lee. I, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing I, I'm picturing your profile picture. I'm sorry. Yeah, beautiful. Ella, yes. Like, beautiful. She leads, like, all these amazing events in New York. and Yes. Very much. I love it. And she's an awesome, outspoken advocate for inclusive gaming and safety in gaming and just awesome. And we are all about that here. That's right. Absolutely. So look at that. And uh, so Slivers is lurking while cooking. I feel like that's a song or something. Lurk while a cook. Lurk while a cook. Uh, anyway. I feel like Slivers is always lurking. <laughs> I went a little too hard on that. But yes, I believe this. And uh, Jeremiah Bob, I've been very curious about this. Okay. Well, you know what? This game is not super short. So I will hand it over this way <laughs> to Suzanne. I've played this game. A couple of times, or a few times, I should say. David, this is new-ish to you. Yes. And Suzanne's played it like a bajillion times. So <laughs> I've played it five times. That's and practically I a bajillion. Think, yeah, exactly. I think I've played it correctly most of those times. You know, somebody will tell me if I'm wrong. I guess we'll find out. So, <laughs> we'll find uh, out. So did you want to do an overview before we switch over, or how do you want to do uh, this? I mean, it might help to see the sheets. Sure. So, because, like, there's a lot going on. So, first Indeed. of all, you know, if you want a quick impression, Mandy and I reviewed Twilight Inscription in the most recent episode of our podcast. So, you can check that out on YouTube or on your podcast listening thing. Um, but here we are. And as you can see, there's a lot going on. So, what we've got here is David and I in the corners, we have just our warfare sheet. But all of us actually have four different sheets representing navigation, expansion, industry, and warfare. Now, I will also say I have never played Twilight Imperium. I have no interest in playing Twilight Imperium. My apologies to Kelvin Wong. Uh, but, That's you know, I, my understanding from people who've played this with me and played Twilight Imperium is that there's a lot of thematic overlap there's a lot of terminology and if we knew twilight imperium then things in here iconography right. or things like that might feel linked i don't have that uh so you're gonna get my inexperienced overview so we've got these four different boards each of us have our own four different boards and oh we should have clarified this and I, I forgot to tell you i'm have side b up oh because oh, if you play b? yes i and i should have said that because when you start with a it a. means everybody has different abilities. So I figured let's do B because it's a bit more straightforward. Okay. Wait, I'm was that a Canadianism B. or are we using side B? No, no, we're no. We are B. using side B because it's side A. So okay. for those who don't know, side A, when we, if we decided to use that, you have different now things. She tells on us. I'm sorry. Listen, okay. You know, up I almost the stuff. asked, but <laughs> I thought I was going to get, I sent it in a tweet one no, more time. No, I 100% forgot to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Side B. Well, good note, Mandy, for educating people about the variability <laughs> in the game. Like, that yes. was totally planned. Brilliant. Oops. Yes. You know? Wink, wink. 
So going, if you look at the main screen, you're going to see Mandy while she plays and you can judge her continuously (laughs) on all of her choices that she makes. You can only judge David and me on our choices in warfare because that's what you want to focus on because warfare is the sheet in which we have some player interaction and everything else is pretty much solitary. Yeah. And then, of course, in the lower corner here, you've got our Mechatol Rex board, which is interesting because really only the top of the board applies to a multiplayer game. Yeah, uh, the bottom is more for solo play. Uh, and then we've got four different, I forget what they're called. I'm going to co- say, you know, goal cards, one for each of the different types of boards here that, you know, it's one of those situations first to complete gets the most points. And then everybody who completes it afterwards gets a smaller set of points. All right. So. Twilight Imperium, if you, a Twilight Inscription, if you've played <laughs> something like a Ganshan Clever or a Three Sisters or even on a much lighter scale, a Super Mega Lucky Box, this is in the same kind of general family. It's just the really complicated, emotionally complex older aunt because it is ultimately I just a game. I know, right? <laughs> combos right we are going to be in the simplest terms you are going to be circling or crossing out crap to circle and cross out more crap and hopefully you get the most points i should have written the rule book don't you right that was amazing (laughs) so each sheet plays a little differently and i'm not going to go into an in-depth rules because ain't nobody want to listen to that right now but let me give you a little bit of an overview if you're not familiar with the game so you can kind of follow along on what's going on So looking at Mandy's player sheets there by the big deck that has the number one on it, in the upper left, we've got the navigation sheet. So here's where we are exploring. And you can see all these little circles with a variety of icons in them. And ultimately, dice will give us power to use there to either connect the circles with the lines or circle the different icons. Sometimes when you circle something, it'll give you an immediate bonus. Sometimes when you circle something, it will unlock something that you can use later. There you go. But as we expand here, the critical things that you get here is like the starbursts are points. The planets let you unlock planets on the expansion sheet. So there you've got that cross sheet action, that hot cross sheet action going on, baby. (laughs) Did you hit the sauce before we got started? (laughs) (laughs) And then I'm just high on life, bitch. And then um, we've got, uh, you know, uh, war poles that you can jump around the sheet and things like that. Critically here uh, on the one of the icons lets you unlock your uh, player power. One of them lets you get relic cards that are powerful one time use abilities. And the most theoretically important thing on this sheet, at least thematically points wise, Mm, not so sure, uh, is Mechatol Rex. Here's where you access Mechatol Rex. And the first person who gets to Mechatol Rex gets the most points and gets some other bonuses like votes and things like that. The excitement of votes. All right. Right? Yeah, voting. Yeah, yay, voting. (laughs) Um, And apparently in Twilight Imperium, Mechatol Rex is very important. But again, sure, I don't know. Hey, Tandy Poo. Um. All right, moving on to the next sheet, expansion, the green sheet here. We have a series of planets, and you are just, if you've played, this is like, if you've played Ganshan Clever, there's a section on Ganshan Clever that's very much like this. Basically, icons you can see are in columns and rows or in a little grid on these different planets. Once you have unlocked a planet, you are able to cross out these icons. And then when you complete rows and columns, that will give you a variety of different bonuses, whether it's advanced iconography. (laughs) I mean, it's advanced something, but I don't have the cheat sheet that tells me what all the thematic terms are. So sorry. Um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the game. I love this game, but yeah, it's it's what it is. (laughs) So, you know, you get advanced iconography Uh, critically on this sheet along the right side. There is a population track. And uh, that's, this is the primarily the area that you're going to use the population track and uh, votes and things like that. So you're going to be going rows and columns and trying to unlock bonuses here. Uh, Yeah. And again, you can only access a planet after you've unlocked a planet. Where do you unlock planets? Typically, you're going to get the planet icons from the navigation sheet that we just looked at. So moving on down south to the industry sheet in the gold, 
industry, you have this blob of icons. And there's a lot going on here. There's actually like four different sections that we're looking at. So that big blob of icons, when we get different, when the dice are rolled, that will let us either circle some of those or cross some out. Now, the reason why you have to or want to cross some out is you can only circle things as long as they are connected to at least one X. So as you're trying to branch out and expand, you're going to be trying to work the X's so that you can get as many circles around them. You got to work those X's, baby. Thanks for the subscription, Tangy Poo. Oh, <laughs> love it. Thank you so much. Some eight months. Whoa, this is exciting. Sorry. Give some love. <laughs> Feel that love. Thank you. Um, so that's the, the blob, so to speak, and as we're trying to do that. Now, most of the icons that we're going to get here... Uh, will let us work the track area that's below the big blob. And as you progress down this track, it's going to do a few different things. One, when you complete a column, sometimes underneath that column, it will unlock a uh, trade goods income spot. Very, very nice to have. And as you progress down the tracks, you'll see that there are points spots that you can hit and get as well. So you're working that track. Meanwhile headed over to the west coast of this sheet we've got votes and trade goods so there are going to be things <laughs> oh, sorry another goodness. thank you for the um, uh sorry oh somebody gifted one oh okay. david gifted it david gifted, gifted, gifted it, it. Yeah, right. that's so nice sorry it just so, i hear the bring <laughs> oh i don't hear it so that's why because i've got the stream on uh mute Right. Yeah, so if you ever, forget. if you ever, it's because I, I get a notification, so that's the reason I jump in. But I digress. Okay, sorry, continue. <laughs> no, no problem. So we're going to be collecting votes because every once in a while, we are going to get an event that says vote on something. And the number of votes we have means we have more power to swing the vote in the direction that we want it to go in. We can earn vote income, which is a little wee track between the blob and the other track. That's a really great description, I know. Sorry. <laughs> And then finally, in the bottom left of this particular sheet, we have the trade goods section. So there are going to be moments that we can earn trade goods. Trade goods are nice at the end of the game. Every two trade goods will count as a point. But perhaps more importantly, during the game, you can trade. You can use trade goods as a wild icon. Uh, Sorry to interrupt, Tracy. A hype train is close. You sub gift or use bits now to start a hype train. What is a hype train? Uh, hype train is after several people give like bits or subs or something oh, like that. Oh, I uh, see. Okay. People who people who participate in it get like special uh, emotes and stuff. So actually, they're doing a thing too with subscriptions and Xbox. I think if X amount of people do that, you can like, work to get toward getting like a three month free pass on Xbox. Anyway, oh, so nice. we're close. Okay, noted. All right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that is industry. And finally, Warfare Sheet, and we'll talk about how you get all this stuff in a minute. Warfare Sheet, well, here's the interaction. It's Warfare, right? So down the left, we have uh, different quote-unquote ships or troops that we can deploy in these little patterns. In the battle grid, you'll see a grid, right? And what we're <laughs> going to be doing is filling in dots and potentially filling in lines, which are the ships. They represent the ships that you can see down the left, like cruisers or dreadnoughts, ooh, things like that. And through the event deck that I haven't talked about, uh, when warfare comes out, we fight it out. And you are just like Seven Wonders. You are only going to fight with the person to your right or left. Mandy and David, we should figure out who is on our right and who is on our left. Yes. We'll and then it's a simple whoever has basically the most dots filled in in a section wins the war uh, and down the sides there's a reward for winning the war and there is a punishment for losing the war take your spanks if you lose <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's what warfare is now overall a couple other things there are on each sheet two special abilities related to that sheet that give you an extra power that you can use that you can choose to unlock if you want to. And there are going to be, as you can see on Mandy's and the main screen, Mandy has six dice in front of her. There are three black dice and there are three colored dice. And those colored dice are 
represent the colors of the icons that we are going to be playing, right? There's a pink square, a blue circle hexagon thing, and a green triangle thing. And basically, we don't get to use those colored dice until we unlock them individually. And we can unlock them uh, for specific sheets. So if I have the green die unlocked on my warfare sheet, that doesn't mean I can use it other places. You unlock the extra dice for specific sheets only. And the black dice are available to all of us every round. So those are the dice that we're going to be focused on, certainly in the first round. That's all we're going to have access to. But that's what's going on with the colored dice and the black Ooh, dice. They match my nails. I like it. You did okay. you do that oh, on purpose. I did it. They actually need to be done. So <laughs> it just worked out that way. <laughs> You're too darn fashionable. It's unfair. Every week with his nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy! I've been Mandy and I have been content partners for years. I'm so oh, I know, I know, I know. And so uh, game right, this guy liked your house rule there, Suzanne. Take your spanks when you lose. Oh, he Ooh, would. House That's rule. Willie. <laughs> Willie's Willie's a wee bit of a naughty boy sometimes. Oh. All right. Yeah, so a couple down. other things. So that's <laughs> unlocking extra dice, the special ability on the sheet. Finally, the main. So we are going to play through this event deck that is built in a very specific way that's outlined in the rule book. And there's like level one, level two, all the way through level five cards. So even though there's some randomness in the order, like you just don't know for sure when warfare is going to hit, but you know, you know you're due for one kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So Mandy's built out that deck and that's the game timer. Basically, we play through this deck. At some point, a specific card is going to come out in round five. And boom, you finish that and the game's over. And obviously, whoever has the most points wins. So what, what's going to happen is we're going to flip over the event deck. The event will most often have icons that we can spend on this huge variety of choices that we just outlined. Mandy will then roll the dice. We get to spend those icons as well. Bob's your uncle. We move on. One more critical rule. When the event card flips over, you are going to pick one sheet to work on for that turn. So if I pick expansion, I when the dice are rolled, I must spend them on expansion as well. I cannot flop, you know, go willy-nilly. When you pick a sheet for that turn, that's the only sheet you can work in. Woo! All right. Did I forget anything? Hey, so now, can you do that again? <laughs> yes, I could, but nobody wants me to, David. Don't don't challenge me. All right. All I right. mean, I think it's good. It's one of those games we kind of have to like play, and then people can ask questions as we go. Yeah, and I mean, ultimately, that's what I would encourage <laughs> folks to do. If you have not had the chance to play Twilight Inscription, and you have questions about it, you're trying to gauge whether it's a game for you or whatever, or something seems confusing. Yeah. Like, drop it in the chat, and we'll do the best to uh, give our perspective on it, at least. The one tar is in the chat. I see there's an exchange between them and uh, <laughs> David. You weren't listening. And then mm -hmm. I think David uh, beat them to the joke. <laughs> hey, the one tar. I ordered my awesome cabin game shirt and they haven't come. I'm seeing all these folks. So the one tar owns this wonderful <sighs> new publisher called Cabin Games. Yes. Follow them. Knowing the owner, they are going to come up with an amazing lineup of games I'm so excited for. But they also have a phenomenal logo, and they released, like, merch. And I ordered two shirts, a plain shirt and then, like, the Halloween edition. Nice. And all these people online are like, ooh, look at my Cabin Games Halloween shirt. I'm wearing it for the season. I'm like, where? Ah. Mm. Well, I, I, I put in a shirt. request, V-Nex. This girl right here has big boobs. Okay? V-Nex are a little more <laughs> flattering. So... Please, please consider, and not just a little one. I like a slightly deeper V. So there just throwing it, throw it, it out I there. Like girls, breathe a little. <laughs> All right, just saying. I need, because these ones are like uh, choking me, and the girls need to, to breathe. So <laughs> <laughs> V-neck it is. Oh, yes. Yes. v necks and Canadian shipping. Oh, That's I was like, important. wow, something just got shot. Very excited about something. I have no idea what it is. All That's right. in the next wave, because guess what? If there's, and if you continue to have, like, I'm a Halloween girl all year round kind of thing. So if those, like, Halloween ones are still there, I'm about it. Okay. Let me uh, swing Alrighty. over here. So Zip. that's it. Oh, whew. I know. That was a lot. We you got talked it. about the objectives. All right. I'm back. Or we, you don't have to read them, a, but. We didn't, like, we, we mentioned no. that they were there as goals, okay. but we didn't go through them. Nope. Should we, that's should we do that? Uh, up to you, or we can do it kind of partway through. Let's do it right now. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, Do it. Because otherwise, quite frankly, I think we'll forget. <laughs> all right? Prospectors. So first of all, there's one goal or objection, objection, objective for every object. board. I object. <laughs> um, so first of all, for navigation, there's the prospector. Basically, the first person to circle five of the planets will get points. When you, when you circle five and the first person gets most points. The next up, Mandy, in the order on your sheet, I can't quite see it. Sure. So there's Prospector. I think that was the one you read. There's uh, Expansionist. So Expansionist Cor- is um, in the uh, expansion zone. There are different planets and space docks. Basically, when you claim an asset, when you complete a row or a column and get to claim something, when you do that on four different planets, then you get to score that card. Okay. Next one is diversified production. So down in the industry board with all of that blab, basically that's when you circle, there's there's basically three types of commodities down there. The red triangle, the yellow circle, and the blue diamond. I'm sure they have thematic names in the rule book. Sorry. <laughs> ah, um, who cares? Sounds yeah, exactly. like I'm describing a Lucky Charms cereal, right? <laughs> um, basically when you circle three of each of those then you score that objection objective okay. whatever objection. their objections now <laughs> and the last Finally, armada armada yeah so infantry is like the very very basic unit that you can deploy there but some of the more advanced there's more advanced units that you can deploy so basically when you do the armada the when you build six non-infantry units they can be any of the other advanced units but six non-infantry units yes score some points what does pds stand for uh i i don't know is I, ah! what does it stand for where is this that what wasn't no i wasn't setting up for a joke i i oh, legitimately oh. don't know what pds stands for i'm sure it's something very thematic to twilight imperium that i don't sure. know what are you talking about where is this it's on the it's on the warfare sheet it's the one below infantry it's oh. uh Troop underneath the infantry. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I just, yeah. I, I, I'm assuming as I think my friend was saying it's, it's pertinent to the the game, like the, the the big, the big brother or whatever you want to call it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Cool. Now we can go. So Mandy's gonna flip that card. Yeah. Hold on a second. Sorry, I was getting my books in order just in case I needed my rule book. So you have to remind me the steps. I usually have the book out, but. This girl I, just I doesn't have room you. for it. I will Excellent. Be the, I will be your game dictator. <laughs> Flip a card! Oh, sounds aggressive. <laughs> Super aggressive. Oh, I know, right? Okay, here we go. So this is Fledg- Fledgling Empire. It says, choose active sheet and spend this card's resources. I forgot. It tells you on the card what to do. So let's do that. And the resources we get... Are conveniently are... blocked by your hand. There we go. That one. It's so it's the one that's on it's uh this symbol here. I can't I don't even know what to call it. The circle with the of life. <laughs> it's a blue resource icon. That's, there you go. That's all I say. Okay, so you know what? I'll just go with that. Blue resource icon. So now we have to pick a sheet and spend, right? Yep. Oh well this is garbage. I don't like that at all. Love to hear it. Well, I normally like to start with the navigation sheet, but I did not get the symbols of my dreams. Make it work, baby. Yeah, all right. All right. I'm ready. Mm. Not me. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I did <laughs> choose to do my navigation sheet. Dun, dun, oh, I dun. guess I could do that. Oh, you did? Oh, you did a... How? I'm making it work. I circled stuff. Oh. <gasps> yes, I am going to stick with my... Ar- Hold on. This marker. Oh, God. It won't open. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. Yeah, so anybody who – look, I really, really like oh my God, Twilight my Inscription as a game. Okay, that's not going to work. a new marker, Mandy. It won't open. I have two here, so – okay, this one works. Oof. But uh, I will just say that the production choice to print dark sheets and, and, and provide orange, neon orange, chalk dry erase pens that show up on them is a production decision I abhor. I think it is a terrible choice. It frustrates me. These pens are so frustrating to work with. And apparently very difficult to open. But before we continue, Suzanne, so I circled the little triangle, and now that has the small dots, and I know those are immediate things. 
Right. So you basically go down to the track in industry and cross off. You earned one of those Excellent. little red tri triangles. So you get to cross off a red triangle on that track. Yes. Boom. Okay. So she now I get to everyone's good. I can roll the dice. Uh, now you roll the dice. Cool. And whatever like sheet you. you just acted on, you have to spend these icons on those sheets. Yes. So in this sheet, the, the key to how the dice icons are used is in the corner of the sheet. So, for example, in navigation, a pink square or a green triangle icon lets us connect lines. And the blue circle cube thingy lets us circle stuff. Yeah. So uh, just if you can't see it, it's the uh, blue resource and two pink resources. Got it. Thank okay. You. What's going on in this chat here? Oh, did you see that uh, T said that you uh, received your <laughs> shirts? <laughs> they they I'll arrived. Now. Yes. So. <laughs> don't, All right. Don't, <laughs> Mandy. Hola. Okay. Hola. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do some circulations here. That's right. I'm not gonna oh, do see, that. I need this planet. Hey, oh, but now I can only do two explore, which means a line there. With uh, warfare, when you're doing your ships, not that I'm doing warfare, but if I was <laughs> theoretically, I could orient it any way I wanted to, right? Correct. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now, in warfare, which David is clearly not doing, even though he is drawing <laughs> on the warfare sheet, thereby demonstrating a complete lack of understanding of how this game works. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> if David were playing on the warfare sheet, contrary to what he said, you would have to start at the bottom. So you can see at the bottom, there's an orange line. That's what they call the deployment line. Hey, right. actual game term that I remember. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself there. <laughs> so you have to start, quote unquote, adjacent to the deployment line. And then you can expand, you know, adjacent to things you previ previously did. When warfare hits, we're actually going to draw a new deployment line. And all your ships or troops below that are like irrelevant at that point yes but not that david cares right because david you clearly said you were not doing warfare well i'm not doing warfare not not me <laughs> okay. okay so have we done the things flip a card now let me just take a look at my uh, my or ability not. here and when you choose your actor oh yeah we all have abilities you know what while you do that can you do you want to go over your abilities and, and you can even go through mine after my dog wants a little bit of water i'll be right back uh, yeah, I don't remember what Mandy's is, but I can. I have it. no idea what her card is. Yeah, awesome, um, cool. So I can do mine, and then David, you can do yours. Sure. I am the Sardak Nor, and I'm like a praying mantis, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, basically, my general ability. So on your ability card, there's going to be your always on ability at the top. And then at the bottom, there's going to be an ability that gets activated when you use that specific icon somewhere on the game board. So my always on is for the queen. Um, rest in peace. When you choose your active sheet, if it is the same as your previous active sheet, spend, I get, I basically get a free pink or a free blue icon. Now my special ability, if I were to activate it somewhere, um, is the Teklar Legion, which means I get to deploy three of these units, which if you can see in my sheet is like just two dots next to each other. So it put, lets me put out six, a total of six different troops in warfare. All right, David, what's yours? It's pretty good. Mine is the Mentak Coalition. Uh, it, uh, the always active ability is called Pillage. After I win a war, I claim a trade good. During production events, I claim one additional trade good. Um, and then my other ability is ambush. I can deploy two cruisers when uh, that is activated. Cruisers are powerful. They're not bad. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I see why David did not <clears throat> start with warfare. Somebody's got a strategy this game. <laughs> Noted. It's because I said I was going to do war. Oh, anyway. hey, and before we go any further, we have to answer a question. Oh, Mandy, yes. you're back. Do you want to talk about your universities of... Jolnar. Okay, so yes, you when you choose your active sheet, if it is next in the order shown on my card, which I'll show you, from your previous sheet, I get to spend two of the this symbol on technology. So, and it gives me a little 
chart there that I could use. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Uh, hey, for, uh, you know, reasons, who is on my left and who is on my right? Yes. So if you look at the screen, uh, you're at the top. Go. Yes. Let's go clockwise in that order. So you, uh, Suzanne, I would be on your, oh gosh, this is complicated to see. On the screen, I'm on your right. Yep. Okay. And David's and on then, my left. Correct. Okay. Okay. David, you done with that? Yeah, that's that fine. makes that makes sense. Okay. On so, my right, so David's on my left. You know what? I better write this too, because Lord knows that I'm, I'm gonna forget. I'm writing it on my board. Yeah. Okay. So what am I Which, doing? Hey, now? So, nice, nice thing about about. So you know, Sue dry rice. You can just mark it and... is on my left, and D is on my right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Gameritis guide making an oh so timely Hollywood Squares reference for all the kids watching. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. Somebody's old. <laughs> okay, so we're done with this card. So Suzanne's on my right and Maddie's on my left? Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct. All right, next card. Next card. All right, next card. And it's Echoes of the Past. Here we go. So now our, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, our symbols are. Uh, one pink, one of each. Pink, blue, and green symbol. So what sheet do I want to do? Ooh, let's do this one. Eh. And when you're doing the um, abilities on the bottom and stuff, you can. Is it, it's a choice between the two symbols. Like you either have to do like three of something or one of the other thing. Yeah, because the, okay. the, the one is the advanced icon. Right, it's usually a little more difficult yet, to. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Beautiful. How do you unlock, so on the navigation, I kind of see how you do it on the other ones, but on navigation, how do you unlock the, uh, the pink, blue, or green dice? I don't see the... Some of them don't actually, oh no, it is there. Oh, I see. Yes, this came up in our game discussion. Okay. So I'll let Suzanne answer it. So at the bottom of the sheet, or, you know, you, you have spaces to mark if you have unlocked those spare dice for that region. Mm -hmm. The way you do that is you have to earn the spare dice on a on this um expansion base docs no you might have to repeat that suzanne you cut out oh sorry in expansion there's the space docs do you see that yeah at the bottom of expansion and at the end of those are where you can unlock one of each of the spare dice. Okay. Right. When you unlock one, you circle it. It does not have to unlock the spare dice for that sheet. It just means, Hey, now you have a green die, which you may use it on any of the sheets. You don't have to choose which one. Not when you unlock it. Now, when you, once you choose what sheet you're going to use it on, it's locked there, right? Oh, I see. I see. Right? But if I, or another place you can get a lot, and that's where industry is really useful. There's a lot of spare dice, extra dice on the industry. As you branch out on the borders, you can see those little spare dice icons. So oh, that's okay. another place. When you unlock a spare die, then you have it available for you to like assign to other sheets. Okay. I get it. Okay. Thank you. So I finished my turn, but I'll explain a little bit what I did because it might have been confusing. I circled a planet here, but the lines around this were like longer lines versus small dotted lines. So that lets me know that I use this later. So when I'm actually going to need it. So in this case, I needed a planet to work on because I did expansion. And so that planet that I circled over here, I crossed it off to show that I am circling a planet here so I can now circle symbols on that planet. Perfection. Yes, and in the chat, uh, people are very excited, Suzanne, to see that you are enthusiastic, and this tells them what kind of game this is. You're like, next card, because it goes so quickly. <laughs> yep. Now roll dice. Yes. <laughs> roll roll the dice. dice. Roll dice. Okay, so we... <gasps> what is with me in these rolls? So I have uh, two pink resources and one blue. Oh, my God. Uh... Why do we give her the dice? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet Lord. Okay, let's see. Uh oh, let's see. I did navigation first. Oh, I just realized that I can use my ability. Hey, yeah. Sweet. Uh, do I care about that? I probably <laughs> care about that. 
<laughs> like I do. I don't. Okay, so let's use that. So I've been using this track, actually. When I start to get my more ah. dice, I use the track at the top, believe it or not. No, I, so that is another beyond. So Tiffany Lee in the chat is saying that they dig the chonkiness of the dice. That is so with you. They're big, they're chonky, and most importantly, they're easy to read. Yes. Especially yes. if you've got a bigger group and you're like you're looking across the table. Great. Absolutely wonderful production choice. Now, Mandy, Ooh, I don't yes. use that track because like the erasing these this pen ink drives <sighs> me know. bonkers. But I, I have to it. say it was actually very useful when I started yes. unlocking more dice because I was starting to lose track. So my ability says when you choose your active, active sheet, if it's in the order shown from your previous, and it is because the expansion is the next one, I get to spend two of the green symbol on technology. I'm assuming technology on the sheet I'm working on. Uh, yes. Okay. Let me, let me look at that. Because <laughs> it just stops there. Technology. That was all the confidence? It could be anything. I'm guessing it's the one that I'm working on, and it's fine. I'll just do that. So not a big deal. Uh, no. Okay. Oh. So what that technologies, remember how I said that there are two special abilities on yep. each sheet? Those are your technologies. Uh -huh. So basically, this is saying you can you can tick off two of the green plane uh -huh. marks on any okay of the that was it any oh so any technology okay that's yeah, where so I was you off. can Ooh. the nice thing about that is that like it says on technology but it doesn't have to be on that sheet you can use oh, it on perfect. technologies on any of the sheets well 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 i like but this whole on technology claim up to two explored small system yes so i'm not fully there yet but i get to do two there we go sweet all right let me know when y'all are good to go I am good. I'm, I'm so gravy. Are, so do you want us to talk about like what we're doing at all or just, you know, keep it rolling? You you can. I mean, I, I've been showing, like I lifted my sheet up and kind of showed that I've been uh, working the navigation. I'm expanding. That is also what I did last turn. Yep. Okay, okay. And I did not do warfare my first turn. <laughs> Such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay, ready for the next card? Yep. Yep. All right, Flip so it. first ventures, oh, and this one has three of the yeah pink icons. Where do I want to go here? Where do I want to go? Ooh, if I go down there. Uh, just let me know when it's a production event. A production? Right. Oh, okay. Because it matters for me. Yep, yep. No, for sure. I think I'm going to do... Yeah, I could do that, but let's do that. And I can't draw that yet, but I can draw I'm you. also not doing warfare, just like David did not do warfare the first round. Oh, I see yellow or orange lines. Where? Where? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to defend against the person who is definitely not also doing warfare. <laughs> right? <laughs> Because you can, they just have to be uh, close to the orange line, right? Like they don't have to be together. You start, you have to start at the deployment line, but then you can, you know, grow. Yeah, that's what I mean. But you can put yeah. one here as long as it's okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not yeah. cheating. You can All right. build up, but you have to start yeah. at the bottom. I always want to double check that. All right, let's Whoa, roll these bad nice. boys. The big chonkers. I swear to God, something is wrong with me. Two pink, one blue. I, I mean, swear to God, I rolled it. I wasn't going to say it, but now that you've brought it You off. saw it. I did it on camera. This is not right. These dice are weighted, damn it. One, one thing we can point out here is, as I can show on my I'm definitely not working on warfare sheet, you don't have, sometimes you have sections that you're trying to complete, like uh, in expansion with those planets. You don't have to complete things in one turn. You can mark off icons and they can just sit there. If you never complete that thing, you just, you know, were inefficient and wasted that icon use kind of thing. Uh, I'm at Mechatol Rex, by the way. Son yeah. of a biscuit, you! Yeah. I just figured you all were doing that, so I'm like, I'm, I'm not even going to bother. So I think I have to write something on here for you. Yes, I do. I have to write this on the, the Mechatol Rex sheet, if I recall. Yes, so David is first to Mechatol Rex. So, so what's um, uh, your faction there so, or whatever? Yeah, you write David's faction. Uh, Mensa Coalition. Okay, let me, let me, do you say Mensa? The, the, Mensa. the TikTok Coalition. Menta, okay. I am, I want to be clear. I am one, look at, I'm one space away from Mechatol Rex. 
Yeah, I just left you all there. (laughs) I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Well, because there was so much pink rolled this round, right? You were just able to jet on over. Yeah, that makes sense. No shortage of pink. pink. You can read it however you like. Tiffany says that we can sub out coalition names with custom names like their fantasy baseball teams. And I support this 100%. I think this is ingenious. Somebody said it. Somebody called it the TikTok coalition, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> You're okay with that. So, David, on your sheet, because you've, you've completed Mechtalrex, in case you haven't, you would write the points you've earned in the box that's on Mechtalrex to help okay. you just keep track of your score. And does he every, get every. those uh, check marks, too? And you would circle two votes in your... No, it says four. Or four. Sorry, I can't read it. Yeah, what? sorry, it's four. Look at you Aren't go. You a special little snowball. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, let me get the next card. Oh, I'm so blinkity blink bleep. Yeah, I gave up on that. So the next one is toward a new home, and this has three of the pink. More source. Hey, I know you it's can like use those so to go much to pink. Mechatol Rex. <laughs> hey, I... you can bite me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Love. Uh... Okay, let's see. What do I want to do with you? What sheet do I want to work on? Maybe I should do industry. Well, I went from warfare, so if I go to navigation, I could use my ability. Oh, it's a lot of scrapping, eh? Pech. Pech. Eh? Yes, that's not good. All right, I'm going to do this one instead, because then I get to use my two green thingies. I did not just build a cruiser. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. I didn't even think about that. Get him, Mandy. Get him. <laughs> Okay, let's be clear. David used to be in the military, so I don't know how good I'm going to be against him. <laughs> Look, no offense to David or <laughs> the esteemed United Forces of the States of America. I feel like um, whatever's going to come next is going to be, like, freaking I, I, brutal. I just don't know that actual military experience really provides a I gotta leg up. St- but in maybe Twilight inscription. Yeah, I don't no, know. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> it's like I'm not even gonna deny that's right. No, that's okay. true. That's totally true. That, that, that totally doesn't transfer over. Uh, we'll see okay. at the end of the game. We'll yeah, exactly. We'll... Bow, bow, bow. I mean, I, I laid hey, network welcome. cable, so it wasn't like I was out. You know. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Maybe you don't pronounce it. W o t s q c. Oh, that's Jen. It's Jen. Well, I I would. That's an odd way to spell Jen. <laughs> it's Jen. Hi, Jen. How are you? <laughs> okay, All right. so I get to... Wait, wait. I got to spend my two green doohickey, so that unlocks that bad boy. So let's do a little... I like to circle it so I know. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget Have your you ability. Have you rolled for this that, location that yet? No, no, not yet. Not yet. So this one that I just circled, it says... Oh, I have to do one more, but it says claim yeah. up to two explored small systems. So I'm going to get to do that in a minute, but small systems. And uh, sorry, I got to spend my last one here. One second. Uh, Are we all getting, getting battly? I don't know what you're talking about. What's on the shelf? Oh, that makes so much more sense. I love it now. Now, see, I went from like, what to, I love it. All right. Now I am. lady. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm going to roll it here because I feel like, let me move my person over here. Man, did okay. you see a dice rolling face? That was a serious dice rolling face. <laughs> You'll be happy to know it's one of each now. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, whoa. That. whoa, what was that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to do this. I have to do this according to my ability. So let's do a blue, which I get to spend immediately. And I wanted a yellow, but... And that gets to go pink. Oh, I'm stupid. Why? What happened? <laughs> okay, I get Wait to circle something. <laughs> Don't worry. He's like, maybe not. Okay, so I get to circle you. And I get to circle something else. No, I don't. I get two more of those. Actually, I don't want it there. Oh, well, that was awkward. My light just randomly decided to turn off. Oh, it's back on. (laughs) 
weird. Are you having power issues? <laughs> no, no. Just randomly just went, Burp, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, so, it's a little late for spooky lights, but. What's on the <laughs> shelf is asking, are any of us going to be at Pax Unplugged? Indeed I am. I'm driving down, actually, with uh, Stefan and Tracy. So I'll be there for the four days, the Thursday to the Monday. So not working. Actually, I am doing something for... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did someone just join our stream? <laughs> <laughs> that was a big speaker. That was huge. But I'm here for it. Um, what the hell was that? Oh, it's one of the things I have. It's like a GIF or thing that you can put up on the screen. It was a cat jumping at a light. I know. Can I tell you? I thought someone had jumped in the stream. This has happened to me before. It was very creepy. <laughs> anyway. Super creepy. I'm not working, but I'm doing one event for PAX specifically. So I'm teaching a couple games, but that's it. Cool. Yeah. David, are you going? I will not be there. That's a really weird time of year. Um, I'd love to go, but, uh, you know, in between Thanksgiving and Christmas is. It's rough. hard. Yeah. I get that. Uh, okay. I will Everyone... be going to. With yes. Restoration games. How, what day do you get down? Do you know? Like earlier? I don't know. Yeah. Time has no meaning. I, th okay. I don't know. I think <laughs> I booked a ticket. <laughs> fair, fair. Okay. We're good? Yep. All right. All right. We've moved into round two. Round Franken. two. Border conflict. War. Oh, right Ugh. off of that. All right. All right. So advance the deployment line. So that means we got to draw this line up here. And that is one nice thing in the game is on these big old event cards, they do kind of walk you through what you're supposed to do. They do. Nice. Absolutely. Then resolve a war against each neighbor using the sections immediately below the deployment line. So did you, uh, let's see. Let me write my numbers in here. Yep. Oh, I didn't draw my second cruiser. How convenient. I was like, wait a minute. I'm missing something. <laughs> I mean, it's on my board. I, I, I filled in. I filled in two, uh, uh -huh. two cruisers. Go for it. Don't peeky right. peek. Yeah, no thing. looking, though. Well, not, yeah, mine is, like, super out there. But I haven't even been looking at anybody's board, to be honest. I'm too busy, like, <laughs> making sure things are working. Sure. I get okay. it. Okay. So um, I have three against David. I'm assuming I lost that one. Yeah, I have okay. uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then against Suzanne, I have five. Oh, I have four. You won. Yeah, yes. So now I get this green person, but I will okay. use that. Oh, wait, yeah, I have to unlock that. Icon and save it. Too. Yeah, because I can unlock can War Sun. War Sun. You include nice. the asset that you circle, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to save it for n well. Okay, David. I have eight. <laughs> wow. I have six. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna unlock War Sun. I I'm not even mad at that. You uh, you put some effort there. I did. I it was a real strain. There was a lot mm -hmm. of heavy breathing. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I know, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey oh. Okay, so we don't roll dice for that. That comes off. Everyone's good. Welcome, Atticus thirteen thirteen. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, I am not. Oh, oh, okay. okay. You are Hold rushing up. me, and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> what is with the cats today? <laughs> you missed it, David. There's this like huge. No, cat I see it. I see it. <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. That's hilarious. Uh, what am I gonna uh, do with I'm my green thingy? Oh, okay. Because I because winning that war gave, gives me the icon that lets me use my character oh, special ability. ability. Yeah. So I was doing that. But I'm all done. Okay. And Jen, it's your birthday, so we'll definitely have to do some some gaming for sure at PAX. All right. Next card is a strong foundation, and it is two blue. All right. Symbols. So I need to if I choose expansion, then I could use my ability. Ha ha ha. Which I think I, I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> I earned a thing and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I'm doing that, so I can do. Actually, I have to do that first, but I'll use this. I'm this doing is that. The wrong so thing, but I'm going to do this. I'll circle this thingy here. Oh, I, I did the wrong thing. Here's why I get so frustrated. I circled. I marked the wrong thing. I want to erase it, but you can't erase it right away. Oh no no no! You if gotta you try wait. to erase the wet ink, it just smears. You gotta let it dry. You gotta count to ten and let it dry, and then you can erase it. So do you like sing it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then stop and erase. Eleven, twelve. <laughs> That's totally exactly what I do. Eleven, twelve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> okay, let me. Uh, I gotta use these now. I, I had oh, to do shit. it. Yeah, no, I'm here for it. It's I good. was like, wait, she didn't finish. She didn't finish. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know why I circled that planet, but here we are. Oh, we moved on. Did you roll for this one? No, I did not. I hadn't used okay. my because I had a couple things I had to do before using that. But um, I am gonna roll when Suzanne is done. I'm done. Okay. And just so you all know, I had to play around with lighting and stuff and like turn it down and up. These boards are highly reflective. Yeah, there's not much you can do about it. For what it's worth, I'm working on industry. Okay. I'm and I am on expansion. Crossing off stuff. Wow. Surprise. Two blue and a pink. We're back to that again, apparently. Two blue and a pink. I can work with that. Two blue and a pink. Two blue and a pink. Two blue and a pink. Oh, maybe I should start working toward getting dice. <laughs> that might be an idea. Yeah, I think that's wise. Uh, ooh, but if I do oh, you... Nope, I'm cheating. I almost cheated, and but there's... Damn it. They're racing. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> I know, so I'm like <laughs> thinking so I don't have to erase because, oh, sweet lord, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry if i'm missing your comments in the chat on my back's kind of turned to the computer yeah there it is exactly that that picture that's on screen right now a lot of that erasing and it's not coming off <laughs> <laughs> i gotta say those are great so the card had two blue right two Correct. blue mm -hmm. and then you roll the pink and, and two then more there's blue. two blue. Okay, I, I caught myself cheating, so I'm going to go ahead and erase oh. that. I know. Uh -huh. well, this is where, Mandy, to what you were saying earlier, it can be hard yeah. to keep track of everything. It's very true, yeah. So, like, eventually when we start working with the, the colored dice, I'm gonna you'll see me start to use this track up here. But the, it's, the thing is, you have to erase it, which, as Suzanne was saying, is a bit of a pain. Yes. All right. I am done, oh. and I have not cheated. Oh, I cheated. you know of. <laughs> can't see my sheets. <laughs> I feel the panic there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Cheater. <laughs> These things are hilarious. Flip it. Flip it good. Which I, I love <laughs> saying flip it and roll it because it makes me feel like I'm playing Flop a weird it. game of bop it. Flip Flop it. it. Roll it. <laughs> bop it. Flap it. Oh. Okay. Oh, so this is a council. Wow. Yeah. That came quick the convene the council so you get to claim one of the check marks on industry for each unlocked plus one icon in your industry chart then flip and vote on the stage to agenda right what uh, okay. Suzanne so first of all <laughs> check how many um your basically your vote income so that is the little vote track with the little speech bubble between the big blob and the tracks on the industry chart and then okay. i'm gonna start with one if you've unlocked one. more then cool. For every marked off vote income, circle a vote icon in the vote tracker. <laughs> right? Okay, now that is the total number of votes you have to work with. You don't have to spend them all. You don't have to spend any. But Mandy's going to flip over a vote card. Okay. They are, they're, they're random within a season, so to speak. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And she's going to read a pass or fail scenario. Yeah. And then so we are going to secretly write how many votes we want to spend and mark whether we're going to pass or fail. There's a little box next to the votes area that we're going to um, jot that down on right here. And we will see who, you know, has the most political power, I guess. Yeah. Hashtag All right. Green. Are we ready? I am ready. All right. So if you want this to pass, on expansion, each player chooses five unclaimed uh, point assets. Okay. So the stars, little stars, assets in the population track and crosses them out. Okay. Okay. They must still be claimed to access higher point assets assets but they are worth zero victory points so you're basically screwing people who are trying working to get the it, population track working that track does that make sense david what it's saying yeah that sounds crappy yeah yep. it's not great what's it's the great. what's the fail scenario on warfare each player crosses out the asset above the strength box for one future war 
If they win that war, they do not claim an asset. Dang. Okay. So does that make sense? I didn't understand that one. Okay. So basically pick a warfare that hasn't happened and cross off one of the winning icons. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And oh, if you win that war, you don't get the the bonus. Why didn't right. you write these cards? <laughs> <laughs> that made a lot more sense. Okay. I got to like secretly right, do my so that's carry fail, And then pass. You can vote zero, one, two, three, four, five, however many votes you have. You spend the votes, whether you win or not, whether right. the choice you made wins or not. Um, and you can go. I know. I'm like, what do I do? What if I hate both of them? Well, they yeah, both then, suck. You know. And how how but... how realistic? It's the lesser of two evils. Okay. Uh... There we go. I'm done. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I said so, one for fail. I said Same. one for fail. Oh. <laughs> So we all we all wanted to fail. All right. So we now cross off something. Does it matter? So cross off the number of votes that you spent because yep, those you can't use those again in the future. And no, you get to pick. So it it does matter. Sure. But you know. Okay. You so you, but you get to choose which one. Okay. That's right. what I was. Yeah. Cool. 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 Right. Uh, so sorry. what if you pick one and you lose that war anyway? Then nothing you really still lost, get the right? lose. You still get the lose scenario. You didn't. You didn't cross off the lose scenario. Well, no, 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 no. But if I so you know, let's say I choose the one against you know Mandy, but I lose that one anyway. Well, I wasn't getting the win condition either way. Sure, but you don't know, right? You won't well, know yeah. until you get there. Right. So, it, yeah, no, but, no. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, it may not be as damaging to you um, as it could have been. Absolutely. Right. Okay. All right, next card. Next card. All right, relics discovered. So we Ew. have one green Ew, symbol. That's <laughs> that's kind of poo poo. One, yeah, one green. Ew. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? So if I go to industry after this, then have I can we hit use a production two. event yet? No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, this no, we haven't. You know, it's different cards. Okay, maybe I should do industry. I haven't done anything on this sheet. Yeah, let's do industry. Clay. Oh no, let's uh, let's do that. Oh nice, I just got orange ink all over my table. Yeah, that's definitely gonna come out. Oh, I know. My friends have a white table, and we were playing. Oh my god, it was awful. Okay. Oh, and I still get to use my green because I use the next one in order. Ooh, and this says while active, I can claim a spaces adjacent to at least. Oh, well, that's not going to work right now, isn't it? Oh, that should not be crossed out. That should be just circled. I always do that on industry. Mm -hmm. I forget that I can't like I have to circle it if I'm that claiming it, crossing it out if I'm you. scrapping. Yeah, I keep doing that, uh, but it. I do get to spend listen here. Smart nap. <laughs> She's telling you, Smartin Mama's up. mad. Oh, I can't do that. I have Busted. to put that down here somewhere. Uh, okay, let's do that. Boop. Boop. My little ability. All right, ready for the roll? Roll them. Roll the big bones. Okay, I got to roll them in my hand a little bit because apparently this is like a disaster. Two blue and a pink. Hey, look uh. at that. <laughs> okay, listen. Okay, I can't create miracles here. Oy. Clearly. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, somebody's getting this. <laughs> okay, so that's my blue. And I need another blue. Oh, well, I can't use that one right now, but I can use you know what? I'm taking that out. To cross that out. And then use my blue to do that. Oh, yeah, that's really close. I forgot to. David, are you not doing warfare again? I'm uh, not doing warfare again. Mm. Good to know. And I totally don't have access to a war son. <laughs> How did you get access? Now, you. When did you get. Where'd you get the. Oh, because you won the battle. Yeah. I and I also have out. access to one from getting uh, that symbol from somewhere. You devious battle monkeys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Everyone's done? Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, next Flip it. card. So, Gamerite Sky says this gives them an old, um, actually, just scroll. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what happened? An old school <laughs> look at the paper map for directions and learning your path as you walk feels. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. I mean, this is my first time ever playing the game, so, you know. Ooh, what's, what's this? It's production. So, Woo-hoo! redefine trade routes. So, claim one production sorry one good on industry for each unlocked plus one icon in your industry chart so i have two of those (laughs) me too i don't have any but i get one for free because i'm the tiktok coalition (laughs) oh Uh, pardon (laughs) what yeah it's part of my ability during perfect that's why i keep asking during production events claim one additional trade good that's nice oh that's very nice i thought you said tiktok coalition as as like a wild resource, a wild a basic icon, yeah. or um, save points. for points. Mm-hmm. Save for points, correct? Yeah. All right, there you go. Saw production. Roll, 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 roll. Moving on. Next card is Maximus Yield. Wait, do you and... roll for that one? No, you don't. Okay. No, sorry. It, it'll you it'll tell you on the card, so it's just these ones. Uh. So I know. So Maximum Yield uh, gives us three pink. But I don't need three pink. Well, you got three pink. Well, but that's not convenient for me <laughs> personally. The most important person in the universe. Ooh, three pink is delightful. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. It's like red, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. And I get to do my thing because I did that thing. So I got to do, let's do that. I guess I could start doing expansion. I've done literally no expansion yet. That. You could. Oh, well, this is, I swear to God, this light is driving me crazy. It's just randomly going on and off, so I apologize. I have it on one of those plugs, and I haven't, like, reset them up since I changed my internet, and they're acting up, so I have to get different ones. Thank you for apologizing, because I was actually very mad at you about that. Listen, 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 voila. So, you know. Mm Mm-hmm. When you're filling in the planet, you don't have to do it in any particular order. Correct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh gosh, that'd be awful. Where are all these gifts coming from? There's oh, stickers. There's. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Oh god! Actually, those ones are actually it says browser source Giphy, <laughs> so it's a thing. Yeah, Gabe Ryder's guy, she's not paying any attention to us because we've said TikTok Coalition like 20 times and she's like, what? Well, I heard it and I was like, oh, I yes. heard it. I was like, what's happening? Just okay. Focus. <laughs> roll them dice. All right. Roll it. Roll, roll, Flip roll, it. roll. Pop it. All pink. What the heck, fire? <laughs> uh, I'm here for it. Yes, yes, yes. See, that's what oh, we I, get for pressuring her, to be honest. I accidentally <laughs> wrote on my ability card and that ink ain't coming off. Rut row. Son of a biscuit, man. That's just boop, that's boop. rude. Rude. Oh, this is working out quite well. Da, 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 oh, I get that. That was hot garbage. <laughs> and I personally blame you. I so, hold you personally accountable. Just so you know, game writers guy, tee hee hee, love finding these gifts. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that is without a doubt a. Like, <laughs> we knew that we could, but we never stopped to ask if we should. Thing. Oh, right. Like, giving Game Riders guy that power is, um, is mm. strong. Okay, Still not so. as good as doing the random sound effects. But uh, those <laughs> are good times. Right. I miss those days. Flip it. Round All three. Right. War. Oh, crap. I Okay. Well, yes. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. Yeah. I'm sort of ready, but it's fine. Yeah, I definitely was not prepared. Well, I got three against both of you. Bop it. <laughs> well, you beat me then. I, I oh, I've got three against David and four against Mandy. Oh, uh, really? And I guess have, what? The one I and then the one I won. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You. Oh, you. But guess what? The one that I won is the one that. You marked off. I marked yeah, off. I <laughs> That sucks. Okay, I'm just going to... This light keeps going on and off, and it's actually super annoying. So let me just uh, turn on my other light. And i got to turn this one off. Give me one sec. Seriously, Game Artist Guy, I should, like, I don't know, finish a drawing or something down there. There's a whole bunch of space. 
but that is not. I keep right. rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, and nothing's happening. So whoa, <laughs> big ointments for that. All right, so if it's too dark on the board, let me know. I, I'm using a slightly different light source because my other one is being a jerk. I just unlocked a the pink die. Where am I going to use it? Oh, look at you. Aren't you special? Hey, look. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. All right, so yes, we did war. My apologies. I was fixing the light there. Okay. War. Oh. Okay, What's next good card. <laughs> okay, two blue. <laughs> Border defense, two blue. Oh, I forgot to uh, put my line there from last time. New line. Oh my god, that was like the most crooked line ever. And now I've smudged it all over the place. Lord. Uh... Oh, I'm going to do that over here. Okay, now I need to determine where I'm going. If I go to navigation, that's good. <sighs> What did I get to blue? Lots of claimations. I'm here for it. So that lets me cross off some stuff. Oh, claim up to two. Oh, sweet. Oh, man, I miss claymation. Like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It was good stuff. <gasps> Silver and gold. It's so good. <laughs> oh, no. 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 I, no. I had a supervisor who looked like Heat Miser. <laughs> I love it. I mean, that's so cute. I get to claim up to two small ones, but I don't have to do it right now. I can do it after because of my ability, but I also have to cross off two green things, which I'll do here. Okay, let me circle these because I'm forgetting to do them. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> Boy, Hold she's on. just, yeah, that's an interesting ability that just, she's teching it up. I'm, I'm, that would be a fun one to play. Yeah, it's super good. I'm here for it. Okay, now let me do some rollations here. Did I circle the things? Yes, I did. Come on. Oh, shoot. That was aggressive. <laughs> so it's one of each. Okay. Mm. Apparently the aggressive rolls are where it's at. So, excuse me. I still need to do this, though. Uh, claim. Hey. I need <laughs> one. Uh, why the poop did I do that? David. Uh, <laughs> Such oh. language. Here. So, and then I get to explore <laughs> one. Actually, no. Did I just draw two lines? No. No, 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 no. Yes, I did. I need to draw one circle, and then I get two small circles. Okay, cool. Always appreciate those clips. <laughs> Gave a writer's guy. <laughs> so that's a freebie for my ability. Boop, boop. Or for my technology, I should say. And another one here. Pink. Cool. Oh, I should have had an extra vote, I realize. What's Oops. whispering? I, I didn't know you could this. whisper. What's a whisper? Oh, that's like a message, isn't it? Is that like a DM? Yeah, it's like a DM. I like it. I like calling them whispers. That's much more. <laughs> like, I'm a direct message. I'm a whisper. <laughs> like, whispers. So, oh, it's so pleasant. Oh, good. DM. Exactly. Like, I'm going to slide into your DMs. Okay, that is. how much an ASMR you are, I guess. Like, yeah, exactly. No. Nope. Okay. Contact. Production. Production. Hooray. Sort so, of. So, claim one on it just for each unlocked. Sweet. Oh, I forgot I have another one now. I have three. Oh, what's that? We have oh, we have that a raid of fifteen hey, people. Conrad, people, Conrad, what? that's amazing. Thank you so much. Welcome, I friends. Know. Good to see you. Yes, thanks for coming by. Hey, uh, everybody. We are Mandy, Suzanne, and David from Salt and Sass, and David is our snark, snark, our guest snark today. <laughs> we are playing. Twilight Inscription. This is the roll and write game that is inspired by a sibling game to Twilight Imperium. And uh, it's it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. If you're <laughs> curious about this game, like jump into the chat and ask questions. We're doing our best to answer any kind of gameplay uh, questions folks have or anything like that. Meeple Conrad said this is the roll and write. Mm. 
I'm willing to debate that with you. I but love it that he has the A Roland right. That is for sure. It's like it Megan the Stallion. Right. I'll even give it capital A Roland right. Well, it's like Megan the Stallion. This is Twilight the inscription. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Okay, I got to roll. All right, so I did my production. Yes. Oh no, not Wait, rolling. Why are you Sorry, rolling? no roll, no, no roll, roll no roll. I'm so used to flip rolling, it. no roll. We gotta flip, flip it. Flip a card. Bop it. <laughs> okay. It. Bop it. One we get a green. green. This is pretty One dire green? here. Green. What was the last what sheet I even worked on? Are you serving up here, young lady? I don't know. It's something. Okay, I think I might go out of order this time, though. Although, per active cross out one unclaimed asset on an unlocked planet to cross out there two you go, resources. <gasps> Actually, that's a uh, lie. I am gonna do for, that. For what it's worth, on I completed the Armada uh, ability, the um, Armada objective. Oh, I should probably be looking at that. <laughs> I didn't even look. If anybody cares. Yeah, I didn't. So, so. I can you travel would, through would wormholes flip now. It. Oh, Meeple God Red, you haven't played well. Um, no, it is. It is a a, a very big boy. Uh. Not to be genderistic about it, but it's a very big roll and write game. And I personally, I've really, really enjoyed my plays of it. So, yeah, I, I think this and, and Hadrian's Wall, you yeah, know? pretty nice. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm gonna do expansion because I had done. Oh, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my greenie and my what green. Do I oh, do? I have an ability here, but let me do this green first before I make a decision. Gravity drive. <sighs> okay, I'm going to. I'm. Uh, oh, I get this. I'm going Ooh. to Metal Rex. Well, it's about time. Oh my god, That's I thought you got there I already. Say. I purposely just like forgot about it because I'm like, ah, Suzanne will get there eventually. <laughs> and for what it's worth, so I'm at Mechtal Rex, so I get the um, second place points, asset. which is what, five? Okay, so what's the name of your uh, faction? The Sardak Nor. How do you spell that? Uh, just like it sounds, Sardak Nor, duh. Is it one word? Mm -hmm. Is no. there no? You don't have a shout out command? Dang, got it. All right. Sardak. Well. Are, who yeah. cares? Just, just write it. We definitely. Okay, so people can it. Sardak War. Nor N O R R. Oh. See. And I get five points in how many votes? Four. Okay. Sardak, N O R R. Sorry, yep. cut under right. I tried. And cool, 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 cool. Okay, what was I doing what now? It's worth, oh, yeah. I have unlocked my blue die. So if you, you could <laughs> roll that for me, that'd be great. Okay, well, we'll add that to the little thingy here. I just need to do my uh, technology cross out one unclaimed asset on an unlocked planet to cross out two resource no worries, icons Thanks for there. hanging out. Bye, Meeple Adios. Conrad. Thanks for the raid. Yes. So I have to do it on an unlocked planet? Which one do I want to get rid of? Eh. Meeple Conrad, I ordered extra copies for the stores because they knew the managers would buy their own. Yeah, it's it's... Yeah. And, you know, it's a little bit expensive, and I have my complaints about the game, but I really do love the game. And one of the nice things about the game, it plays eight out of the box. You you pick up this box, and it has all the sheets and pens that you need for up to eight players. I, that's a pretty good value, I think. Wait, did you roll this or no? No, I didn't. I have a technology that I was doing, so oh, I was I trying see, to get I that see. sorted out first. No, we're waiting for. And uh, I got a, a symbol here. I got this yellow. Yeah, I was just symbol. making sure I wasn't like sitting here not doing anything. And no, just, no, you know. no. I wonder. Can I? No, I can't use it. You're, there. All you're right. being handsome and entertaining. I appreciate there you go. that. <laughs> okay, so two blues. Well. Sorry, one blue and two pinks, <laughs> and then Suzanne gets her blue, or whoever else That's unlocked right. the blue. Not I. But now that you're using the blue, you have to lock it to your current active Yes, so yes. I use the blue yes. on my navigation sheet. Okay. Ooh, now I also unlocked a blue. Oh, this is great. Not a blue die, by the way. Well, that blue symbol that I'm going to use on my industry sheet momentarily. Okay. Two hours that, later. Nice. Yeah, exactly. I get, uh, for what it's worth, I completed the prospector objective as oh, well. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I like forget about these all the time. And oh, I'm, like, I'm not even oh, paying yeah. attention to these. Me neither. Like I'm too busy focusing on other things at the moment. Okay, so what do I need to do now? I need to circle another pink and blue. Uh... And you know what? I'm gonna use one of my nope. Yeah. I'm gonna oh use one shoot! I forgot to circle my planet. Oh my gosh! I should have three planets. Oh my gosh! So like, can you choose like when you're going to like? Let's say. Let's say, like, you don't want what's on the blue. Well, it's always going to be the same thing on the blue, right? It's always the... 
that yeah, resource. The blue, the blue dye always produces the blue icons, but it, it has like sides that has doubled icons. Doubles, on it. right. Yes, okay. yes. So you can get a little bit more going on there. Just trying to understand. Yeah. Yep. And okay. When you're done, Mandy, let me know because I need yep. you to do something. I'm done. All right. Yes. So I have. Uh, I'm focused on my navigation board this round, and mm-hmm. I've branched out, and I'm showing it on screen. So I've circled a bunch of planets to get the prospector cool. Yep. Um, but I've also unlocked – I went and I circled the relic location. Ooh. So Mandy's going to draw yes. a card from the relic deck, I'm and gonna, this is like a one-time use card. Yeah. I'm going to put it there because some of them are not showable, if you will, but I'll put it there, and you can uh, – I'm not looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. I'll, it, I'll yeah. tell you if it – yeah. Oh, yeah. that's what that is. Yeah, so ideally, yeah, there are some cards you pull and you reveal, and there are other cards. That's why I'm not looking. Okay, so it's good. And this is that you can look at it because this is play immediately. Okay, perfect. Unlock the next three plus one icons on your industry chart. Oh! And then deploy one PDS. Oh! Damn! Yeah, so relic cards are very powerful, and dun da da da, it's worth six points. That's very nice. Something tells me I am not winning this game there. today <laughs> i've unlocked three vote slots and i get to deploy a pds who am i coming for oh uh, we didn't i didn't do the deploy line i gotta do that i replaced the d to a t for shard of the throne and i can't stop laughing <laughs> oh game right this guy it's the the little things in life i feel you on this <laughs> hey, sometimes you just don't have a modium nearby, and stuff happens. Exactly. What can you do? <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is happening? That's what? <laughs> oh, gosh. Let me know when you're all ready. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not ready. That's okay. Right, We're we'll just trucking along here. Don't worry. Got ready okay, to go. I am, I am now ready. ready? Make magic right. happen, Mandy. So the next one is a council. Partisan maneuvering. Ooh, vote, vote, vote. So you get to claim. So if you have some, like I have two, which I forget to mark off. So I get to circle two. I have Don't forget four. to do that. Okay. And then uh, it says. I you to my will. Flip and vote on the stage three agenda. All right. Here we go. So for a pass on warfare, each player crosses out all of their unbuilt cruisers. Those units cannot be built. Ooh. Ooh. If, yeah, that's bad. So if the fail is on navigation. Each player crosses out four unclaimed systems that contain an asset. Those systems can be explored but cannot be claimed. Both of these are terrible. Yeah. That was on navigation? Yes, on that last one. So you'd ha- each player would have to cross out four unclaimed systems that contain an asset. Uh, those systems can be explored, but they cannot be claimed. That would be if you chose the fail option. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, so I'll just put that there. All right, so let me do the things. All right. Let me just make sure I did the right thing. Oh, Orwando okay. hanging out in the chat. Orwando is in my game group. Oh, fantastic. Well, hello. Thanks for joining. And has apparently actually played Twilight Imperium. So <laughs> far more educational in terms of that. Exactly. All right. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Are you all ready? ready? Yep. Yep. Boop. Five for pass. Oof. Whoa. And I put three for pass. <laughs> well, I, I did two for fail, so. Because I only have one cruiser left, so I don't really care. <laughs> all right. So, so one, that's no two, longer. Three, four. I've used five votes, and all your cruisers are well. Yes, if dry you... docked. I don't like this game. Yeah, <laughs> I feel targeted. <laughs> okay, so that was the council. Let me move that out of the way. That out so of the way. For my faction ability, deploy two cruisers. Uh huh. Does that have anything to do with like what's actually on the board, or do I just put two cruisers somewhere independent of what's on the sheet? That yeah, top- you, okay. that's not t- the fact that we've killed the regular cruisers. You you can still use your ability. Okay, that's just your top ability, right? That's my bottom ability, so I'd have to trigger it. But sorry, that's okay. your what? Um, <laughs> Heyo. <laughs> okay, moving on. Desperate, <laughs> desperate I'm measures. So three pink dice. 
What did I use last sheet? Okay, I use expansion. So if I come down to industry, which I'm about to do, I get to use my ability again. So we'll do that. And I get to cross off one more thing. Gosh, there's so many things to do. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to do something. It's going to be so awesome. All the stuff is going to be done. All right. Ooh, and I forgot I have these two things I can use. Now, so I have a pink, sorry, I have a yellow, that yellow symbol. So, you know, the ones that are way over to the left and I have a blue one. So that means, can I fill in the X beside those? Say again, Mandy, I'm sorry. Yep. So on expansion, I'm crossing them out now. I got the yellow symbol that you see on industry in the far left here. And I also got the blue symbol down here. So these two. Uh-huh. So do I, can I actually start from that area? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, thank you. So the, the X that's there, does that count as one given to me already? Or I have to actually mark no, that? No, you just, you have to, you have to. Okay, you have to it. earn it. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Oopsie. Um, all right, so I got, I unlocked a planet and I get to do three. So I get, two. so scrap, scrap. Are my abilities any good here? Choose any three. space that contains a whatever and either scrap it or claim it. Oh, and while I'm not I'm that. Issues. Well, let's scrap you. Boop. By the way, I just opened up my green die. Nice. Okay, so I'll make sure to add that to the, the area. Thank you, thank you. And I get to scrap one more thing, because that was my ability. And if I scrap three space... Okay, while active, you can claim spaces adjacent to at least three scrap spaces. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. That seems a bit... Oh, okay. So if I scrap you, okay, cool, 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 cool. Because then I could use that ability if I need to. Sweet. All right. And I have a pink dye, a blue dye, and a green dye available that I could use. Am I rolling all the dice now or no? I don't know who has what unlocked. I Did you unlock the pink? Someone unlock the pink? Dye? Um, I'm going to use the green dye on this sheet that I've unlocked. So please at least roll the green die. Okay, for this so I'm rolling the me. green and the blue because I know that uh, somebody else had the blue one, I think. Uh, nope. I No, I unlocked green, but I'm not going to use it on this sheet. Oh, okay. Okay, so just, so what am I rolling? Just black? I would just start rolling them all, Mandy. Okay. Then we don't have to worry about it. Okay, yeah. I won't roll the pink because I don't think that's anybody's thing anyway. So the green and the blue, so the green has a double symbol and the blue Whoa. has a double symbol. And uh, we have a blue and two pink on the black dice. Oh, these scraps, but I can scrap you. Two pink, you said, hey? Yes. Ooh, so that's one pink down. I get my pink die. So when I get my pink die, does that mean I have to mark it on that sheet? Uh, well, you've circled the pink die, meaning yes. that you have unlocked it. So... You will pick what sheet you want to use that die on. The next time it's rolled? Um, the next time you activate that sheet. So let's say you want to use it on Warfare. When you go to Warfare, cross out the pink die and then highlight, you know, the pink die yeah. on Warfare. So then anytime I'm on Warfare. You will get to use get the, the pink, pink die. die. Excellent. Thank you. Right. Yep. I usually never get that far. So, you know, it's a thing. Uh, let me do it on this one. Oh, and and then, so sorry, that was just my mark. Perfect. Now <laughs> I have to do a mark and a circle. Ooh, circle, the blue die. Hello. <laughs> I have to say, like, the further I get into this game, the less I feel like I know what in the hell I'm doing. <laughs> dun, and then dun, I get uh... a scrap. I get a scrap. I get a scrap. Oh, I can claim spaces adjacent to it. Oh, that's free. So I actually have two circles left. Ho oh, ho! The combos are kicking in, kids. I know. Now I got to start marking it to keep track because I'm getting a bit forgetful here. Yeah, that's so along with like the production choice of the pens and the sheet. The other big complaint that my friends and I have had about this game is it can just be really hard to track what you still have available to you. Yeah. So we've talked about, you know, you can use the little um, track, as Mandy says she sometimes uses. 
at the top of the expansion board, they do give you a track to like dot in what icons you've got available to you each turn or whatever. I find that personally, I find that inconvenient. Um, but you know, for some players it'll work. Uh, we've talked about, but then what, what's going to happen is for example, um, I, I actually just saw this. I forgot I have unlocked a pink die. I completely forgot I had that unlocked. So I'm going to like do that. Um, so we've talked about actually printing tokens or, yeah. you know, using tokens that, you know, with the icons on it so that we, instead of, you know, instead of having to scan your sheet constantly, oh, I think I have this or, oh, I forgot I had this. You just have something very tactile and visible in front of you. Again, like Hadrian's Wall, when you play Hadrian's Wall, you've got this big bucket of, of resource tokens and you're pulling them and tossing them as you use them constantly. And it really, really helps you keep track of the action. Um, and I, I think that it would be a nice to have for, for Twilight Imperium. Yeah. The, the only one I feel like I get lost on is warfare, especially when you're doing infantry. Cause uh, with everything else you know, that you have a way to keep track of what you've marked. Although I guess you'd also have to remember like what you had in previous turns and stuff, but mm -hmm. right. Like um, I don't like, if I want to go, Oh, do I have this special icon available to me? I have to scan, you know, all the possible sheets and figure out, Oh, where, you know, that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so cool. That was we're done. Everyone's done. That was that turn. Yes. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So the limits of diplomacy. So we're doing another council. I don't like these. Vote, vote, vote. <laughs> <laughs> so I get. Uh, oh, I keep. I didn't mark this one last time. Oopsie. I get three. Yeah, I am okay. not doing those at all. I maybe I guess I should be. Listen, I'm not scoring any points the way this is going, you know, but it's interesting. We've had some discussions um that so basically the way this works is there's four votes that happen during the game. Mm -hmm. And they're they're by level, right? So you're gonna flip over the card and we'll tell you, okay, now do a level three vote. Cool. So within level three, there's four different vote cards, and you're only going to use one of them in the game. So you don't know, you know, which one you've got, which is fine. Uh -huh. But it, we've played games where the votes were really inconsequential and nobody cared. We've had some and then rough ones. I've had moments, right, where you actually care. If you were, yeah, like David, if you were really counting on using those cruisers, and you, you know, you'd unlock the pink die to use on that sheet, and you, you're building up then, you know, you have a vote that you do care about. So um, <laughs> the votes are, are weird. What is this gif all about? <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe I'm boring. Sorry. <laughs> They're like, okay. So I stage, like vote. okay. So stage four, here we go. So the pass, the player who casts the most pass votes chooses a unit type. Each player crosses out all star assets for built units of that type on warfare. Oh, that's bad. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's okay. really. That's horrible. All right. Uh, fail. Uh, the fail is the player who casts the most fail votes chooses a commodity type. Each player crosses out all star assets in that com a commodity types row of the industry chart. Huh? All right. Great. Oh, that's garbage. Okay, I need a minute here because that's all of that's... this is garbage. Oh, that's because it's like each player. Oh. All right. No, 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 no. No, nah, dog. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, let's see here. I need to. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do. I'd still, ra I'd still rather take one of those than losing my last two cruisers. But you know, what do I know? Dang. What do you know, David? <laughs> what do I know? <gasps> okay, I uh, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Reveal. Five I have fail. three for fail. Four for fail. Oh, oh <laughs> so we all we wasted votes. We all should have just did one. Okay, so one, two, three. So David had the most there, I believe. I had five. Oh, you had five. Sorry. So you get to decide which track we're. Uh... The red triangle commodity track. Why are you kidding? I know, but that's I not the one I was close sheet, to. Buddy, yep, I was, I was close to. Sheet. Now she screwed at me too. So um, oh, everything each... worked out great, Leland. So all the star assets are done. Yep. Boop, 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 I was just gonna go with yellow, not to be a jerk. Yeah, so was I. I too would have chosen <laughs> yellow. I, 
I just look at the track I had the least progress on. Oh, that was evil. (laughs) (laughs) That was evil. Okay, ready for the next one? Yep. Uh, Rightful claim, and this has two blue dice. Well, this took a turn that I'm not about, so I'm going to do this sheet, and I believe that's an order from my sheet, so I get two more of the things. Oh, the gift for the look what you did, you little jerk. Very nice. I yeah, like it. I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so let's do that. Boop, boop. And this is some garbage. I'm not happy about it. Okay. You know what? Enough of this crap. <laughs> oh, boy. And that happened over here all right excellent excellent Ooh, i get to roll the blue die in this one for me excellent news uh yeah i get the green on this one okay if you have uh, pink let me know hold on, hold on, hold nope on, hold sorry on. don't i have not yeah yep, no i just i, I just was shooting if anybody had pink um i'm just gonna actually do this uh and then wait a minute uh i want to unlock a die here i've got a Blue die and a pink die available okay, to me. So all the dice. Wait, voila, just wait. <laughs> um, I'll ah. unlock the blue die. Thank you. Okay, so we're rolling. We're rolling all. Yeah. Roll them all. All right. So the blue die has yes, two blue on it. The green die has one symbol, and the pink also has one symbol. The black is two pink. And a blue. I'll put them like this. There we go. Okay. So it's... This is where I got to start marking stuff. So I, I have uh... fleet logistics now. Oh, yeah. I have it as well. I've had it for a while. I just haven't used it yet. Ooh. Actually, I would have used it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I would have used it last round. It's okay. That's my own fault. Uh, okay. It is your own fault. It is. It is. Here we are. <laughs> wah, wah. And then I'm I glad, get. I'm, I'm glad we're in agreement. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, so I should have a total of three blue and two. And somebody pink. knocked out all of my cruisers. I don't like yeah. this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. I have this one I could use. Two. Oh, oh, yeah, but I can't even use that right now, so why would I do that? So let's do this. Boop, boop, boop. So that marks off this and this. So now I have. Oh, why did I do that? Too late. I'm not wiping that off. Ah! <laughs> it's true. It's a pain. It is a pain, actually. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, I tried to wipe something else off, and I basically just smeared it like all over the table, all over yeah, the sheet. It the sucks. Mess. I look like a kid who's been playing imposter <laughs> sauce over here. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, there we go. the sheen is is real bad. Sorry. Okay, that's good. Excellent news. Uh... David, you've got great lighting. Actually, your sheet looks phenomenal. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, not that I did yes. warfare this turn, but. Uh, if I did, you could see if I had done Warfare this turn. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me see here. Deploy two. Infantry. Each infantry two. Oh, I forgot. No, I didn't deploy that yet. Okay, cool. Everyone's good? Yep. Okay. Oh, Gameritis guy. You're always <laughs> such an angelic little Oh, look at that. War. War. War has oh, arrived. Right. I'm not mad at this because I have fleet logistics, which I'm going to use today. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm going to die, I guess. Nope. Yes, and I can use it, too. <laughs> Fire new deploy line. Oh, I just wrote on my table. That's not going to come out ever. Great. <laughs> oh, never mind. I can't use it this round. That's too bad. All right, I David, I have three that. against you. Uh, I have five against you. And I have zero against Mandy, so I'm just oh. going to go ahead and circle my... Oh, wow. Uh, I had six. <laughs> oh, wait. No, against many, David? I Mandy, how six. many do you have against me? Five. I have five. We're tied. So we get nothing. We get nothing. Ties Zilch. in warfare. 
There is no That's, winner. But I do get a little yellow. See, if it makes you feel any better, I get no reward for that. That was the one I scratched out. Yeah, I, it's the one I scratched out too, so I'm not super bummed. <laughs> You're <out>. like, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Well, not mine. I'm a little sad about that. I think I okay. have more negative ones than plus ones. That's that's good, right? That's how you win this game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't even reached Megatol Rex. I've just given up on it altogether. There so. is there is a vote card that I've seen that lets you kill all the negatives in Warfare. Oh, yeah. that's nice. So I like it. Fingers right. crossed for you, buddy. Next card, it's uh, we're doing some dice stuff, so it's a green symbol this go round. Wow, that solo green symbol, some garbage. All right, let's explore because I should probably make my way over to this neck of the woods. Yeah, that seems a little far. Mm. I'm not doing that. I do have a yellow though, I could circle that yellow. No, wow, that I unlocked far. the. The pink dye, like a long time ago, and never actually and didn't chose a use place it. to use it. Oh no, I've I'm done that. They're like, oops. I, I learned how to play the game. There's so much going on. <laughs> there is no. There really is. There really is. Well, that's a thing. I have a yellow. I could circle that yellow thingy. Oh no, I, mean, I can't. Boo. Well, that's some garbage. I don't want that. Can oh, I just do it for expansion. Oh, that's right. I can claim up to two. Explored small systems. Oh shoot, I forgot to do my green thing because I did the next sheet. Is that warfare navigation? I yeah. Think I'm gonna do pink on expansion. Okay. I'll just roll them all and then you just decide what you wanna do. Oh, I should don't industry. Oh well. I do get to circle too. Oh look at that. I'm not beside anything. That's some shite. Ugh. Poop loop. Uh uh. Oh, claim three commodities of each type on industry. I probably should be paying attention to that. Let me look to make sure I didn't do it. <laughs> Two. No, close, but no cigar. Yeah, that sucks. Ooh. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, I didn't even, I was looking. I'm like, did I do that? Nah, I'm short. Unfortunately. Malarisma, I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Les Français. <laughs> <laughs> all right, roll them. All right, here we go. I'll just roll them all. You pick what you want. Okay, so... I should not have access to gifts on screen. I think not. <laughs> okay, you so... Know, Mandy, I know you got the super special dice, but yep. the plain special dice that come in the game are a little easier to read, I think. Oh, interesting. Okay. I can switch to those if you want. No, no, no. This is fine. Okay. I'm just... It's interesting to me. These ones are a bit more solid, oddly enough, with like sparkles in them. But yeah, in person, it's like slightly duller. I bet I in person it looks great. But it does look nice. Okay, so the colored dice, the blue has one symbol. The pink has two. The green has two. The black dice, two pink. and Sorry, one pink and two blue. So oh, okay. I'm on. Oh, yeah, I'm over here. So I don't have extra dice, so I don't need to calculate anything. Oh, look at that. I finally made it to Mechatol Rex. Yay. <laughs> I guess I should write my name over here. Boop. So I used a claim and an explore, so I have one more explore. Um, uh, for what it's worth, I just completed diversified production. Of course you did. So, you know, stuff and nonsense. That's what that is. Stuff and nonsense. Okay, which one? Sorry, the diversified. Diversified production, yeah. Okay. Congratulations on all your success. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. I beat you to Mechatol Rex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I just I call it Wreck It All for short. One of the explore. things I did unlock on this was the claim player power ability icon. So I'm going to do that now, which lets me deploy units to the warfare area. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no. <gasps> do I not I have don't. another one? Oh, I do have another one. I can't. I've wasted it. Wasted it. Well, that's unfortunate. Poop a loop. Poop a loop. Exactly. All right. Well, hey, that's it. I had to waste an action. That's some garbage. Garbaggio. It is. So, Gamer Riders Guy, there's not two sets of dice. There's the black dice and then the one of each colored dice that comes in the game. Mandy got a special yeah. edition that has like some promo 
versions of the colored dice. That's I'll all. show you, and I think Suzanne's right. The original dice, sorry, I'm like under my desk here, um, are a little brighter. I'll show you. But they're not as opaque. So those are the original ones. Yeah. They don't look a ton different on camera, but in person, yeah, the other ones are a little more solid and have sparkles in them. But Where they did look you get those similar. from? Uh, when I ordered from Board Game Bliss, it just came with it. I didn't even order wow. them. They just it was just like a gift. At Bosco, Neat. taking good care of, of their employee of their Ex their patrons or Exactly. Customers. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, there we go. Everyone's done? Uh I think so. Okay. So let me uh my brain's starting to sweat a little bit. Oh I oh I'm like listen, if I score ten points, that's plenty. All right, here we go. I'm not really I'm here to keep the game moving. Okay, we have production. And we appreciate you. Yeah, oh, thank you. All right, production is occurring at the moment. Yay! Woohoo! Two, three. Yes! But we don't have to cross those out for points until the end, right? You don't. Yeah, you yeah, don't okay. do until the end. I just want to make sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or else. Or else. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at that. We're actually trucking along quite nicely here so yeah we're in the so we're in the cards five so the game is almost over yeah um because the way the fifth deck there is a card mixed in there and when it comes up the game's over so yeah. and in our game happens. it came out at a really weird time and it was yeah awkward it happens but, uh, it can happen for sure yeah. uh gabe right guys like oh this is rough gonna have to buy it <laughs> okay so this is uh, girded for war, but it's not a war card, and we get three pink. Stop with the pink. Yeah, the pink is actually it's not bad over here in this sheet. <sighs> okay, what does my ability say here? Oh, I forgot to circle this because I'm using this sheet, and I also get to do two greens. But at this point, do I care? Not particularly, because I haven't used this very well at all. <laughs> How do you get two greens? Hmm? Oh, it's for my to... ability. Oh, okay. So, because if I use the sheets in the order that's on my card. So, oh, when... oh, oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, Sorry, and my last... yeah that's okay. So, yeah, that... if you hear me getting, I get two greens, it's because of that. But honestly, it's going to be a moot point very shortly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Moot. Cross out. Okay, I got a couple per active things here, so I need a minute. Uh,. So three pink. All right. Make it. Yeah. I want to start now. over. So I have a question about the self-assembly routine. So I'm about to cross off. It says cross out an unclaimed asset, which I'm about to do on an unlocked planet to cross out two resource icons there. Do I get the asset that's in that row if I do that? Because I can cross out any asset uh, on that unlocked again? planet. Yeah. Cross out one unclaimed asset on an unlocked planet to cross out two resource icons there. So my question is I can yes. do any asset on the, okay. I can claim any, I can cross out any asset and then I, I get to cross out two resources. But what if the two I cross out in that line gives me something? Do I get it? Because technically I don't have that planet unlocked, but it's part of this ability. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Glad you understood that. Cause it was a bit confusing. I, I, I think I did. Yeah. So if you look at my sheet, I'm crossing off this asset. I don't yep. have this planet open, okay. which allows me to cross off two yep. things. But and I've now I completed this, so yep. it gets me this. Okay. Sure. Okay. And on each unlocked planet, cross out one that has a whatever asset. Okay, cool, 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 cool. An unlocked planet. Oh, my God. This is going to take a minute. Dun dun dun! Combo tastic. Yeah. I have played this game all wrong. Ugh. First game, right? First play is always oh. rough, and this this game in particular has so much going on, right? It, yeah. It's, it's definitely got a lot, so I get it. Okay, rolling the dice, rolling the dice, and nobody really come for my score on here. I literally am. I don't play to win when I'm streaming. Let's be clear. No, 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 no. You're you're running so things. much that would yeah, be unfair. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So 
we have in the colored dice two blue, one pink, two green. And in the black dice, we have one green and two pink. Okay, so I have. Oh, I actually have an extra die here. Whoops. I have a pink die here. So. Are you kidding me? Pink. Oh, no. Green. Okay, 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 okay. okay That's okay, okay. awful. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> That's so bad. I needed one blue. Oh, I also needed a blue. Oh, yeah, that that does kind of suck. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it does kind of suck. I'm on oh, navigation, yeah, and I'm you. like, surely <laughs> I will get one freaking blue. Oh, God. Oh, okay, I did unlock that, though. I'm not mad at that. I'm on the relic spot. I want the relic. I feel like I'm not going to get it now. Like, it, the game's going to end before I can circle that stupid thing. <laughs> like, I'm so bad. Uh, uh, okay, that planet's done. This planet is not really working for me, and I don't have that one open. So let's do a pink there. And I got a green, which is so random, but okay. I don't even need wormholes now. I could just, you know, I have enough <laughs> pinks and greens to cover the whole freaking map. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible turn i like did absolutely nothing oh that was, absolutely nothing. that was upsetting four different planets I oh wait done... hold out oh well let's so see i have not done industry the entire game yeah oh no, really okay and i That's have regrets okay. one i two, i feel like you have to let one of them go right three okay one more yeah, yes. uh, you, yeah, you cannot do everything in this yeah. game. You kind of have to pick a, a direction and go with it. And that's, to me, a good thing, right? Yeah. Because I, you definitely, it is the kind of game where you can pursue multiple strategies and win the game. And I think that that's a good thing. Oh, wait, I have all these trade goods. Bum, ba, da, bum. Oh, hey, oh. And what do trade that goods do again? Changes everything they let you serve as a wild basic icon thank you i was like oh. i get a relic Did oh it? that's right so you could use it in addition to right thank for the memory on wait that. is yeah. it addition to or is it just change one addition to oh well hold the phone here i forgot all about that oh la <laughs> i honest to god forgot forgot also okay. this might be i might have to use a few of these actually Oof. Also, and then, no, and then. David. <laughs> also, somebody uh. is deploying two cruisers. I'm not going to say who or how. Uh oh. Oh, you bum, can. Bum, bum. Yeah, war for me is like I'm just. I'm like whatever at this point. I might use these because that doesn't get me points, but it gets me. Hold on, let me do the math here. Uh. Yeah. Oh like yeah, that, that gets me five points. Yeah, I'm kind of about it. Yes, okay. Can you use multiple trade goods? Because I'm about to use a lot. You can, but you can only use them on the active sheet that you had. Remember, yep, once that's you pick an active a -okay. sheet, everything, like, that's the only place One, that's active for that turn. One, two, three. I'm going to use three. There's a reason, so I can claim a card. Oh, yeah, we love cards. Okay, so I used three of those. Cards. Cards. What? I did not say that. And I think I got, let me just see, four different planets. Okay, so... One, two. I did. So I completed Expansionist for five minutes. Rodney's car cards, the way he says it, is the <laughs> absolute an, best. Because he's an East Coaster. That's why. They speak differently. Cards. Cards. It's <laughs> so an objective. I got five. Boop. Oh, not there. Yeah, that's it. I wonder it, if he gets tired of us teasing him about that. Well, so let's be clear. Even in Canada, people, tease, like, not, like, friendly tease people who are, like, East Coasters, like, Newfoundlanders and whatnot, because they do have a slightly different accent. Actually, Newfoundlanders right. have a very strong accent. Let's be clear. Has anybody else done like... Armada? Because if not, I just did Armada. Uh, Armada was done. I did Armada. Yeah, so wow. you get four points for that. You get four. Boo. Uh, four is still good. I want Better ten. Better than nothing. All right. We only have... All right. This could be the last card. War. It is. And, and a throne for the taking. So this is the last round of the game. Balls. Uh. Well, I have zero in both of those spots because I didn't get to that sheet. <laughs> yep, this is this is the game. So oh wait, wait, wait! I didn't get my relic from the uh, game last is turn. over, and we'll go through scoring. This is garbage. <laughs> do you do you draw the relic, or do you want me to draw the relic? Oh, I'll draw it, and then I'll just—I mean, we're at the end of the game anyway, so I'll just show it to you. It's a dynam dynamis or dynamis core. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Wow. That, I knew it. In my heart of hearts, I'm like, next sheet, I better do warfare, because it's coming. But I got zero, so I yes. took the hits. I'm assuming oh, everybody... Oh, you have did zero? You... Yeah, I have zero, so I, I have took the hit. against you. Yeah, that was strong. And David, how many did you have against me? Uh, I had three against both of you. Okay, so you I have won against, against me you, for both. So. What yeah. the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's I, um, not true. I, I, I was using one. my Sadak Nor ability, and that helped me get the stuff. No, that's good. That's really good. Oh, Joe's in the chat. Hey, hello, Joe. Joe. Hello, hello. We just are playing our last round of Twilight Inscription. We're going to go through endgame scoring. Perfect timing. Yeah, so nobody, like I said, my score is going to be horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Joe's like, whenever I see this game on stream, I think it's a parody of a complex board game. And you know what, Joe? Apt. <laughs> Mandy, how much, how much more did you have in that one? Did I beat you? You beat me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had zero. I hadn't even okay. got to it. Yeah, I had zero. Okay. So that's the game. Bum, bum, bum. So now we go sheet by sheet and we add up our scores. There is a little score blip underneath the sheet title on each of the sheets. So um, basically, you add up all the points and, and calculate each sheet or score. Or lack thereof. Do you, want, do you want to go through the scoring or you guys got it? Uh, I I, I got are it. you okay? With, okay, yeah. So we'll do that. I mean, mine's not going to be that hard let's be clear right uh, so it'll um, be a little quiet here for a minute everybody while we do the things oh panda angel i love you thank you team Zeus. we'll see actually and to be fair i'm the most experienced player in this game so i was gonna really, say it's easy to say when the game is over yeah exactly it's, uh, <laughs> i should be mad if i don't do well Hey, if it makes you feel any better, my total points on expansion, two. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's like 20 somewhere else, so. <laughs> it is, but you know, I was trying to make you feel better. I was trying um, to be nice. The population, is it cumulative or where you ended up? Uh, it's cumulative. Thank you. It's everyone. Two, three, four, six. Wow, I played this wrong. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, that was a good sheet for me. Okay, warfare. Oh my goodness, what a mess this warfare is. Holy cow. Oh, I forgot to circle that. I got there and I didn't circle it. And I got here and I didn't circle it. Wow, really bad. Yes, indeed, Game Writers Guy. That is some good sheet. <laughs> um, I did nothing on industry, so that's just that. Okay. This is rough. <sighs> oh, war. I thought I was doing so well and I have so many negatives now. It's depressing. Oh, had a symbol on here. Didn't use it. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that's, but that is like, honestly, Mandy, that is a good example of where I'm like, tokens yeah. or something so that you don't lose track of what you've earned. Because I literally could have gotten another point because I could have used my yellow symbol to spend more things on this sheet. I just completely forgot about it. Yeah, I find that's not always visible and I forget. Uh, it doesn't matter in this case. Uh, yeah. Meh, giant meh. Yeah, this is this is rough. Okay, <laughs> it's okay, so bad. So David, is it a meh on the game or a meh on your performance in the game? Very much my performance. I okay. not a not a reflection on the game whatsoever. It is your first play, and I find the first play can be overwhelming, and you just don't know where to spend your energies or your efforts. And right, um, but now, like I heard you literally saying, like <laughs> I would do this totally differently next time, right? Yeah, wow. yeah. I I would pay a lot more attention to the objectives, uh, for one thing. Like I didn't, I wasn't really looking at them until it was too late, and I was like, "Oh, have I done any of these by mistake?" And I just happened to do Armada. I do uh, that every which, time, which is why I asked about it. Um, I was like, "Oh, did I do any of the other ones?" No, because I wasn't paying attention. Oof, this is rough. Okay, my score I have written down, but. Uh... So I got 59. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mandy, what'd you get? Uh, we'll get there, David. <laughs> uh, well, I forgot to add my points. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So yeah. uh, 31. Yo. No. 
You did not get 31. I oh no, did you manage to get 30? I got 32! <laughs> oh! Well, I'll take less, it's fine. <laughs> Whoa, hello! I ended up getting zero on Warfare because all my negative points negated all the points I did get. <laughs> Yes, thanks for popping in. Frank the hey, Jar knows this game. She does. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I thought for sure, David, because you were like killing some areas, but my highest area that scored was um, uh, expansion, but that's because I got an objective. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, maybe I did not win, Joe. Second place. I, um, I, yeah, I didn't do anything on industry, like I said. That I didn't yeah. do enough on expansion. I was trying to go up the population track. Oh, uh, that I did that was, too. That was oh, harder thanks, than I thanks, thought it was going DC. to be. That's really nice of yeah. you to say. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Yes, thank you. So wait, so how far did you get up? I got up to the two point. I was like two away from the three point, but I oh, oh I only got to the first two point, and I probably should have been investing a little bit more on uh, yeah. the expansion page. Oh, thank you, DC Bueller, for the see Corgo one hundred. Not sure there are doggos in space, but there were doggos in the park, and they were all the best puppers <laughs> i love that i love that thank you and uh joe says mandy still gets the bonus 15 points for producing thank you and sorry like amanda said thank you thank you so i won in my heart <laughs> you you're always a winner in my heart mandy oh that's sweet but i won the game so all right i was right. gonna say even with 50 <laughs> points it doesn't put you over 500 or whatever uh suzanne had i know right 59 <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay. So back now over. I just want to point out see all this freaking ink that we have on these sheets? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Let me go back. Let me go back. Now you gotta. They even tell you, like, the rule book has multiple sections devoted to the pens. Like, when you first get your pen, shake it with the cap on for 20 <laughs> seconds. And then, like, the, the eraser provided is used to erase small marks, but at the end of the game, use a paper towel. Like, they literally have to tell you to pull a paper towel out because they know. Um, they know. Like, this is going to be terrible. Like, terrible. Like, look so at So, yeah, this. you just, like, you're real rubbing. Oh, and David, be aware. Like, if you are, and you see, like, David, like, camera shaking. Yeah, like, exactly. Because like, you're terrible. rubbing and rubbing. Um. Be aware that if you like are rubbing and you rub off the sheet, it'll stain your table too, right? Because you yes. have all that ink built up on your napkin. So if you, oh yeah, yeah I've already rub yeah. it into your table mat or something like that. So you might want to like put it on your bathroom floor or something to erase it. <laughs> my bathroom. Like I said, my table already looks like a kid's been eating like you know pasta or something. So it's fine. <laughs> no Cheetos. You got Cheeto fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking like you know the pasta sauce making uh, you know leaving a bunch of orange stains everywhere. <laughs> What does Joe say? Did anyone skip those pen steps because that disqualifies you? Oh. <laughs> right. I'm a good rules abider. I follow the rules in games. Mm. <laughs> well, there All right, you go. Folks, yeah. There you go. That's a game. And, and we played it, and I'm looking at the time, even with a little banter and chat and just kind of getting the rules through two hours this stream was. That's yeah. Not bad. That not is bad actually all. very good. So yeah. I hope people enjoyed it, and I hope people were able to follow because I know there was a lot going on and I know I think it was Gameritis guy who's like yeah I was totally learning it while you were doing it so Aww, that's, that's good awesome. to hear yeah so thanks everybody for popping in I don't know if there's anything anybody's up to that they want to talk about not me <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing I mean, your channel these days <laughs> well we have the podcast coming out uh on Wednesday next Wednesday yep next, Wednesday. next Wednesday episode five will drop um, thanks to everybody who's been listening to the Salt and Sass podcast. You can watch our video edition on YouTube if you want to on our YouTube channel, or you can listen to the audio podcast on whatever podcast system that you like yeah. to use. Mandy, David, like, what's the like? What's next Wednesday's stream going to be? Um, actually, it would be next because this is usually or our two week. weeks from now two weeks but from two now, weeks yeah. from now like next wednesday i think david and i are tossing up between or next thursday sorry david and i are tossing up between dice city if i can get it played um, we, or, dice city has been in the queue uh, for like over a year now a fun she's game like, i like it she's I'm like just, we need to play dice city and i'm like all right i got it let's play it but it has <laughs> i have i have to play it so i can learn it so i'm working on that oh it's simple yeah it's there, was an, there was another game we were considering what was it um 
I don't remember. We will be doing tiny epic dungeons. We're just waiting for David to get a copy so we can do that. So well, we're waiting for miniature market to be clear, but okay, yeah, fair. that's another story. <laughs> oh, good luck there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. And then, Suzanne, what are we playing? That's why I was asking. I don't know. Oh, we were talking about <laughs> we were gonna. I was gonna play Vengeance with David, but I know you know the game well. It's so the problem with the Vengeance, I know Vengeance. Wait, the roll, the roll right, right or... the roll right. The oh, problem is yeah, we'd yeah. have to we'd have to fix it up a bit, like you know, because the dice it's you know grabbing dice and stuff. So it'll be probably a roll and right of some variety. <laughs> so there surprise you go. that narrows it down. Exactly. Yes. All the chit chat. So, okay. Every time we have this stream, I have this problem that we're going to do a raid. <sighs> okay. Someone walk me through this again. So slash raid. Right. Space. Space. Okay. Now who are we raiding? Um, who are we raiding? And chat, if you have suggestions. Check Games Edition is, is Check Games Edition on? They are not. Am I following them? I think I'm following them. Yes, oh, they are on. Yes, they are on. Okay, so we can send them over. And what's their handle? And I don't have to put an at, right? I just put... No, no, it's just... Uh, it's check C-Z-E-C-H. Uh -huh. Yeah. Games edition, all one word. Okay, let's see if I did it. Oh, no, it's not letting me do it. Let me try. You know why? It's because... Ugh, I don't know what they did in here, but anytime I try to write something in the chat, it makes me sign in. It's like, you need to sign in. <sighs> There we go. I got it. You got it? Yay for David! Yay. All right, everybody. That's it. Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye, all.